how it always looks. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a good Monday morning. I am ready to do a bunch of stuff this week and get a lot of stuff done. A lot caught up. Actually, the Apple keynote starts here in just a bit, which it will be the first time I'm somewhere where I can watch it from start to finish. I don't know if I will watch it start from finish. I don't know if I will watch it from start to finish, but I'm excited to catch some of the stuff. I really hope they change a few things, but um, until then, we get some work done. Mondays are good. Oh. And these screws keep falling. I've already lost like six screws in the bottom of here. And this one's about to fall off. I can feel it. I need to just tighten it up. And the free upgrade is coming to all watch users this fall. And it's going to feel like a whole new watch. I think it's going to rain super nice earlier, but look at these now. So I have to redo them because uh, I love hotkeys, but sometimes I work too fast for myself. So after I finish something, I delete it real quick. And if I do it wrong, then I have to redo it, create the file. I messed up. Well, that's all running. I figured maybe it's time to really figure out how to fix this desk. Like, I really like how it turned out, and especially the legs and the sides as you saw. I thought I did a really good job calculating it all out, and with these designs. This one was the first design I had with two cabinets at the bottom. It looked cool, but each of these cabinets were super duper expensive, like $80 a piece. So we went to this model, and this is what I have currently. It was a lot cheaper, the whole thing was under $200 at Ikea, but... But I never once measured the height that this was going to create, and unfortunately it's about 34 inches, and normal desks and normal desk chairs are made for things 30 inches and under. And so I thought maybe I'll make a standing desk, but to make it about a standing desk I would need to add about 10 inches, and to create a regular desk I need to subtract maybe 60, 6 inches, so I'm going to try to figure this out. I really like the way that these, I really like the way that these brackets turn out with the feet, here and here at the angles, but if it's not going to work, it's not going to work. Maybe if I take these out, drop this down to that level, take these out and drop that down, it would be okay. <sighs> we'll see. Okay, so I've redone my calculations and actually used real numbers and Google some stuff. What I want to do, what I want to do is make the height of this desk to be no more than 30 inches. If I take out these steel brackets, they're actually my favorite, but they're way too big, and drop the table here, lay it flat onto this table, that'll give me six some inches. I'm going to replace these six inch feet with four inch feet, and add a quarter inch to the bottom and remove those feet. I will be good. But that also means that I have to take down all of this stuff so I can lower this down. That's today's project though, then I can start using this. Uh, cut to time lapse! Somehow my, calc my measurements were off completely again, so I had to grab a couple more 2x4s. I'm just gonna clean them off, but a little spider on there.
of it redone. I didn't really want to leave and get feet. Just got the 2x4s from the garage. I got to keep my little metal shelf underneath there. And I raised these to 6 inches instead of 4. But I might change it because it's too tall. But it's working now, so at least I can get stuff, some, some stuff done. Wow. Just gotta get this all sorted. My friend Bob up here in a bit. And I think I'll just do a little relaxing and hanging out because I haven't seen him in a long time until then. And then I'll get some stuff done. Hopefully. I gotta catch up from the stuff I didn't do yesterday because I was relaxing all day. I, I, don't, I don't watch your drones. I'm more of a Silicon Valley. Silicon, uh, awesome. Silicon Valley, yes. Silicon Valley, yes. Silicon Valley, Bob Sanger. Uh, yeah, dude. We didn't know what we were going to so eat, easy. but Trent made a good yes. point that so yesterday was our Sunday relax day, so we didn't do hardly anything, but eat and relax and eat and eat and eat, so today he's going to be cleaning up. That's why I heated up with that. Not heated up. That's why I steamed or cooked that broccoli this morning. Just so I'd have something different. So that's what's going to be on the menu tonight. And this is going to... Maybe an avocado tonight.